Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, it's me again, teacher or mom Araya. And we're going to have another quality lessons which is very essential or helpful for your reading and writing skills or any um, anything that has something to do with English. Okay, so for this topic, uh, we're going to have more expressions and uh, how we can use or improve our um, probably the content not just probably but of course yes I'm um, writing our um, welcoming welcome speech or uh, the, the yes, how we can have a very impressive um, welcome speech okay so in this regard um, these expressions can really benefit you in terms of I'm um, having more statements not just repeating them uh, not repeating the same statements from the previous speakers that you have yes you have followed maybe you can also have this one okay so these 11 useful expressions and welcoming guests in your speech is highly recommended and I can share this to you okay and also um, yes uh, I have also just shared this one from the lessons or something that I have also researched researched on okay so let's go ahead and proceed for our topic for our discussion too okay so here again for this um, discussion our video lesson uh, we have the challenge of welcoming a speech right and sometimes you are tasked by your um, um, sup uh, what's this yes your supervisor or someone who is who has higher position than you then they assigned you to do the welcome speech and it's your job to do so and you don't have the what the capability or um, that skill okay you do have the capability but you, yes probably the skill so there is no problem about that because this video is for you and yes um, I will provide I will be providing 11 essential statements that you can use okay so this way this um, there are ways or there are alternative ways how to express ourselves sincerely in welcoming our audience or welcoming our guests in our speech okay so it has something to, to do with the welcome speech okay so who knows uh, maybe tomorrow or yes the next day or um, the week after next you'll be assigned okay or that your next event you will be assigned by your um, supervisor that or superior yes uh, you, you need to do the w welcome speech or welcome address and uh, you don't have the, um, the experience yet how to do that okay so here you go so how to greet uh, your guests okay so um, there is also one additional question for this one um, when you start writing your welcome speech you also have to um, consider if the event or occasion is formal or informal because it matters okay so if um, the event is more of um, very tightly formal then yes the kind of language or the, the words that you use would also matter okay so yes uh, formal is very stiff yes uh, I'd always prefer to have a yeah, the, the informal or yeah, probably just <laughs> in between. So you can also put a little of something about your, um, yes, how you express yourself too. Okay. But again, yes, you have to make it sure that you know your audience first before you can um, compose your um, welcome speech. Okay. You ask information. Okay. So here, okay, um, this formal or informal tone is essential or are essential because we, you um, you need to know uh, the right occasion of course okay so if you want your speech to be a success okay so here we have now the f 11 <laughs> 11 useful expressions for successful welcome speeches okay the first one we have here okay so um, yeah, what sort of welcome um, are you offering? Okay, so there are different um, expressions we can use. So if we you if you use this statement, luckily the weather is on our side today. The sun and I are pleased to offer you a warm welcome. Okay, yeah, so you can use this this statement for a wel warm welcome. Okay, 
yes to start your welcome address okay another statement that you can use here's a hearty welcome big and warm enough to encompass you all to say we are thrilled to see you is an understatement okay this is a kind of hearty welcome okay so it's all up to you and yes um, of course since it's a hearty welcome so it matters also how you deliver it okay like you have to be sincere okay, of course with a heart right yes when you deliver it okay next statement that you can possibly use for a successful um, welcome address fellow members please join me in giving our guests the most cordial of welcomes okay so yeah that is called a cordial welcome okay the next okay are the other um, expressions let's hear it for a sociable welcome on the count of three turn to your neighbor and say hello there are no strangers here only friends we are yet to meet okay you can actually use this for in not too not too informal yes yeah a little so uh, more friendly okay cordial welcome okay another statement it's my pleasant duty to bid you all a genial welcome it's a genial welcome okay yeah genial welcome here okay we still have yes um six to go since it's 11. it's a gratifying to it's gratifying to look around and see so many familiar faces that's a pleasing welcome to what i know is going to be a great conference um before you see this or before you say this sorry yes you also have to look around your audience okay so it's funny yes uh, i can see some familiar faces here okay so in this uh, this statement is what we call pleasing welcome mm -hmm. yes to make your not just your audience but also yourself you, to make yourself um, comfortable yes in doing or starting your speech whether it's a virtual or face-to-face -face, uh, welcome address okay next statement we have for number seven many of you have made a huge effort to join us today on behalf of us all we are deeply appreciative and offer you our most grateful welcome Okay, that is for grateful work. Grateful welcome. Okay, next is okay. You can use this one. Today is the day we begin to learn to look through the eyes of others, to find out and experience what the world is like for them. It is also the day we grow bigger than our differences and offer to everyone, regardless of historical rights and wrongs, a friendly welcome and an out, an outstretched hand okay so this is a friendly welcome okay yes sounds interesting right yes so you may do so uh, maybe you don't have to like yes copy paste you, you can rephrase or revise some of the words okay so we have okay four more to go oh no three more to go sorry <laughs> okay next is to our special guests look around see the smiles of everyone's faces we are truly delighted to welcome you here today okay that's very nice okay delighted welcome here okay two more to go the flags are flying the balloons are ready for release it's a great day one we've been planning and waiting for i'm sure you'll concur this is an agreeable welcome okay that is agreeable welcome okay last okay lastly our desire is to extend a gracious and inclusive welcome to all of you for now let's put aside our differences and instead celebrate what brings us together yes very interesting here you can use yeah the gracious welcome okay see there are very um they are okay, these 11 um, essential statements can greatly help you uh, as you start your career as a speaker or may not um you you don't need to be like the professional speaker but of course you will always start uh, yes uh, as a novice okay so this is a good start for you to start your um, career okay for a speaker and just um, even a simple uh, simple occasion in your family okay or in your school then yes you do have the initiative now to volunteer i i can do that i can can i be a uh, 
can I use or can I have? Okay, the welcome address part. Okay, I already have an idea how to do that. Okay, so I hope that um, yeah, the lessons or the 11 statements uh, would be uh, very grateful for you. Okay, grateful and yes, will benefit you, of course. Thank you so much for joining today's lesson. It's a very great day for us today. And please don't forget to comment below if you have clarifications for today's discussion. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. See you in my next video lesson. That's all for today. Thank you and see you around.